All right, all my salespeople out there, we're talking today again about how you can get better at sales today. And today I want to talk about embracing the grind. Um, I probably look a little tired today. I'm, I'm pretty tired. Long day, but it's kind of appropriate that's what we're talking about today because um, what you're dealing with a lot of times, especially in a BDR or a SDR role, you're dealing with uh, just times when you you just, you're, you're coming up against it and you just don't want to do it that day. And uh, a lot of that is mental positioning. And so that's what I want to talk about today is how mental positioning helps you uh, stave off those times. There's a concept in content creation called no zero days. That's a really good concept to uh, take into SDR and BDR um, because uh, you, you end up in a situation where uh, in content creation, the analog is that at least create something. In BDR and SDR, which I'll define in a moment for anybody who doesn't know what that is, uh, but this is for you, my SDR, my BDR people. Uh, so in in those roles, there's times when you just got to go three, two, one, pick the phone up, make some calls, start it, get 20 in this hour. You know, you want to hit 150 a day, just just hit one that can feel daunting at 9 a.m. when you haven't made any calls yet. You've had all your excuses, you've looked at your maps, you've looked at you know, research, background data, and everything else. The truth is you just don't wanna pick that phone up that day. And that's the first thing, is just to be gut level honest with yourself. Don't make excuses and create other reasons that this might be true. Instead, just own it. I just don't wanna pick up the phone today. Look yourself, take a bathroom break, get in there, look yourself in the mirror, and just be honest, I don't wanna pick up the phone today. Then the next thing you say is professional, trained sales reps, pick up the phone. Say that to yourself, because you really have to look at yourself differently. And this is what, where mental positioning comes in. I'll give you a good example. I was in a uh, in-home sales closing role and was on a rough streak. And I went to my mentor and he said something I've never forgotten and I've taken it with me. I still use it. I've used it on myself recently. Um, I was on a cold streak and he said, listen, the, when I walk up to a door, I say to myself, I'm a $500 per visit rep. Now what, what does that mean? Well, we knew where our commissions were. And if you went to a hundred houses, a good salesperson was gonna close 30% of those. So what that meant is over those 30 houses that you closed, you would do $500 in commissions on average across those sales. Well, no, actually it was across the entire 100. So uh, whatever you're looking at there, uh, $500 per, uh, so yeah, it's 50,000. So over 100 visits, you're gonna make 50,000 in commission. Okay, so what, the, what that tweak does is instead of looking at the, man, I just hit 10 houses and I've, I'm striking out and I've got all these reasons. I've had crazy stuff happen. I've had people being drunk on the visit, which you can't sign any paperwork then. So you've driven an hour to this person's house, you open the door and they're hammered. It's like, well, not making a sale tonight. You know that from the outset. Uh, I've had, uh, you know, just crazy stuff. So there's always a reason. Your mind can always find a reason but what do you do? How do you face that? How do you turn it around? How do you get on good ground to be able to go back in and make those calls with a good, um, with a good frame of mind? Well, what we just talked about is one, I'm a $500 per visit rep. Now you think about it for you, whatever your commission structure is and your base pay, take your base pay and your commission, uh, on, a, on a good month, maybe not your best month ever, take a good month, a good average month for you and see what that is. Then divide that over your 100 calls a day and that's what you are. But is it $30 a call? You know, is it $5 a call? I'm gonna pick up the phone and make $5. Would you do that on a one minute call? If I walked in the door, said, hey, I'm gonna give you, what is that, 500 bucks? I'm gonna give you 500 bucks to make phone calls today. Would you do it? Yeah, of course you would, because you quote unquote know the outcome. Well, the next, so that's the first, that's the first idea, which is what kind of rep are you? I'm a this much per call rep. That's, that's your first mental positioning trick. The next one 
is the close the the cold call close ratio so across the board across all industries across pretty much all time that anything's been measured for sales cold call uh conversion whether that is uh actual physical calling whether it's door knocking uh any type of cold call metric where it's a one call close situation whether that is closing a visit, closing a, an appointment, closing whatever. Across 100 people you talk to, you're going to close four to five. Super stellar, amazing people will close seven or eight. So when you go into those calls, change it from, God, you just can't get anybody on the phone. I can't do this. These people are going to, I've got all these, my manager, all these reasons your mind will come up with. Turn it around to awesome. Just got rid of, rid of that dude. That's one of my 92. I'm going to close eight today. That's one of my 92 I just got rid of. Now, since you know for sure that you're, you're going to have 92 that fall off, that reveals your eight. So you got to do the work to get rid of the 92 to get to your eight. Okay? So I hope this helps you. Uh, if you got any questions about that, uh, put them in the comments below. Happy to help. Um, and yeah, happy selling.